Hello and welcome to this video presentation on ANS data monitoring. ANS data has become much more of a critical part of the SDI digital signal today, with a variety of information being carried that can be used by devices or systems. For instance, up to 16 channels of embedded audio can be carried in the horizontal data space along with the video signal. Today we're using one of the latest waveform monitors from Tektronix, the WFM8300. The ANS data display monitoring functions can also be done using a WFM7120 with the data option. Firstly, select one of the display tiles that will be used to put the ANS data inspector display within. In this case, we're going to select tile 1. I'm going to bring it through full screen so that we can see the full ANS data display in just a moment. Select the measurement functions of the waveform monitor and you may see a variety of different display types. Whatever was used last. Press and hold the measure button to bring up the display menu. Then press select to enter the submenu and scroll down to the ANS data display. Using the arrow keys up or down or the general knob, press measure again will dismiss the menu. Press and hold the measure button to bring up the ANS data inspector menu. Now we are going to use the arrow keys to navigate up to the view mode. Press select to toggle between the watch list and all. All will give you a list of the ANS data types defined within SMPTE RP 291 and indicate whether they are present or not. Press select again to toggle back to the watch list. This is the mode you will typically select shows you all of the ANS data types. Press the measure button to dismiss the menu. The upper part of the ANS data inspector shows a list of the ANS data types. Use the up or down arrow keys or general knob to scroll through each data type. The name of the ANS data type is shown on the left hand side, with the presence and location of the ANS data type on the right hand side, showing field and line location within the video signal. Press the MAG button to expand the detailed view. In the detailed view, you can see the data ID, DID, secondary data ID, SDID, and the data count of the specific highlighted ANS data type. The location within the video signal and the checksum of the ANS data packet are also shown. Press MAG again will reduce the size of the detailed window. The ANS data user words are shown in the lower window. Now let's take a look at how to configure the watch list. Press the Configure button to bring up the configuration menu. Use the up and down arrow keys to navigate to the ANS data display. Then press select to enter the submenu and navigate to the configure the watch list. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the selected ANS data type and press select to enable the ANS data type. Return will exit from the menu. Now the configured ANS data type will show up within the watch list whether it is present or not within the video signal. You may wish to configure your own specific ANS data types that are not defined in SMPTE RP291. To do this, press the Configure button and navigate using the up and down arrow keys to the ANS data display. Press Select to enter the submenu and select the user ANS data types. There are eight user data types that can be configured to a user-defined value. Press Select to enter the submenu and define your own specific DID and SDID values. Use the arrow keys or general knob to scroll through each specific hex value. You can also create your own username for this ANS data type. Navigate to the name and press Select to bring up the name dialog box. Use the arrow keys or general knob to navigate each character box. Remember to enable user data types within the configuration menu of the watch list in order for this ANS data type to be displayed within the ANS data inspector. In this case, you can see both SMPTE 12 timecode and our user data type are missing from the video signal. Next, let's take a look at how to use Capture View with ANS data inspector. Press the Capture button on the waveform monitor to bring up the menu. Depending on the configuration, either buffer mode or freeze mode will be selected. Ensure 
buffer mode is enabled. Then navigate to delete and capture to grab a complete frame of the video signal. A freeze icon will appear in the status display. Now navigate to display mode and select buffer only. This will recall the frame buffer into the ANS data inspector display. Note the captured data can also be saved or recalled from USB. When the frame of data is recalled, the ANS data display will now show three windows. The list of the ANS data types present within the captured frame of data is shown. The upper right hand window shows the location of all the ANS data packets for the highlighted ANS data type. This is very useful to verify the number of ANS data packets present within the signal. Use the up and down arrow keys to navigate through the ANS data types. Press the right arrow key to navigate between the windows and then up and down to scroll through the packets. The lower windows provide the detailed information on each data packet and again pressing mag will allow the user to magnify the detailed view. You can scroll through all of the various ANS data packets that are contained within the capture, allowing the user to perform detailed analysis of each ANS data type and packet contained within the video signal. For instance, in this case we can see the active format descriptor and the detailed window that shows the eight user data words for this ANS data packet. The Tektronix ANS Data Inspector is a useful tool for analyzing ANS data packets within the video signal and provides a quick and easy method to verify the presence and location of all the ANS data within the video signal. For more information on Tektronix products and application notes, please visit the Tektronix website at www.tektronix.com. Select the video section and navigate through the product information or application notes. You will find a detailed how-to guide on ANS data amongst a variety of other information, such as the guide to high-definition digital video.